today, let's talk a little bit about what Kubernetes is and how we use it. Hi, I'm Jameson, and I'm a software engineer at SmoothStack. Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration platform that automates the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. Kubernetes was originally developed by Google and is now maintained by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, or CNFC. Think of a restaurant with a large kitchen, lots of chefs, and multiple dishes to prepare. Each chef has their own specialty and can prepare multiple dishes at once. However, as the number of customers increase, it becomes more difficult for each chef to manage all of the dishes and ensure that everything is prepared on time and to the right specs. This is where the kitchen manager or Kubernetes would come in. The kitchen manager can see all of the orders coming in and assigns each dish to the appropriate chef, taking, to, taking into account the workload and expertise of each chef. The manager also ensures that all of the necessary ingredients and tools are available to the chefs and coordinates the timing of each dish so that everything is ready at the perfect time. In this metaphor, the chefs represent containers and the dishes represent applications. The kitchen manager represents Kubernetes. Just as the kitchen manager ensures all of the dishes are prepared on time and to the right specs, Kubernetes makes sure that all of the containers and applications are deployed, managed, and scaled correctly, no matter how large or complex the system might be. Okay guys, so for example today, what I'd like to do is actually go ahead and show you guys how we would it kind of deploy resources on Kubernetes, as well as a few tips and tricks for getting used to the Kubernetes CLI, which is called Kube Control, as well as some of the uh, features and more of the um, easier ways to navigate. But you know what? It's easier said than done. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump right in, and you guys will probably get a feel for it. So let me go ahead and open up terminal and i'll let you guys know beforehand all of our work today will be done from the terminal using terminal commands so if you like and you have all of the features that i have um installed please feel free to follow along the only thing that i have installed right now is this uh kubernetes cluster called minikube and i'll explain what that is in just a second as well as the uh cube control cli First thing I need to do is go ahead and type minikube. And this is just going to go ahead and give me some options for my minikube cluster. And I'll, I'm bringing this up for a reason, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So if I actually type in minikube status, you'll see here what that does. It is, it, it'll go ahead and grab me the status of my, uh, of my current um, Kubernetes cluster. So let me go ahead and run that. And you will we'll see here that my Minikube is currently stopped. So that means my cluster is not currently running. I don't actually have a cluster running uh, except for this Minikube. Uh, well, another cluster on my computer aside from this Minikube. So uh, if I really kind of want to run anything on Kubernetes, I'm going to need this started. But you know what? Uh, let me try running a Kubernetes command while I have this stopped and see what happens. So let's do kube control. I know that this is the Kubernetes CLI. And oh, well, it looks like it gives me all my Kubernetes commands as usual. So I know off the top of my head, if I do a git command and a git all, that'll go ahead and grab me all of my Kubernetes resources. So let me go ahead and try running that. Looks like it's thinking it's doing something. Taking a while though. And oh, looks like it failed. 
and unable to connect to server no connection could be made so what this uh error means is that it was unable to connect to or find a kubernetes cluster to actually run this command off of so whenever you see this issue typically it's going to mean that um your cube control is looking for a uh Kubernetes cluster to run the commands off of, but it can't find it. So either you're going to need to make sure that your Kubernetes cluster, if it's being run locally, has been started, or that your uh, configurations for that Kubernetes cluster uh, are correct. But since I know what the issue is here, what I can easily do is run a mini cube start, and that will go ahead and start my cluster for me. And another nice thing i'd like to show you guys if you have the docker extension you can also follow along with this part if you go down here this will allow me to actually view my docker containers and you'll see up here i have a container that's currently running and if i hover over it it says that that is a mini cube container so what actually what mini cube actually does is it's running a docker container which is running uh kubernetes so this is going to be a Kubernetes instance running off of Docker. Okay, it looks like that is done and it's currently running. So if I run another mini cube status. Okay, awesome. That looks like it's been running and it's currently configured. Nice. So as I did earlier, I'll go ahead and do the cube control. And if I do a cube control get all, let's see if that works. Oh, awesome. Looks like it, that worked and it got me all of my services and all my current, uh, yeah, it looks like all, these are all my current Kubernetes resources. I only have a couple services running. So if I go ahead and clear that out. Let's go ahead and do a cube control. And one important command I'd like to introduce you guys to today is going to be this explain command. And the reason I'd like to show you this command is instead of going through and explaining what a lot of these commands do or all these commands do, I'll go ahead and just leave you this one really powerful command, the explain command, which allows you to get documentation for a resource. So what does that mean? So if I wanted to, let's say, hmm, you've been, I've been using the word pod uh, a lot lately. And you'll see up here, pods also mentioned. And pods are a uh, very powerful Kubernetes ab abstraction. Pods are kind of like the basis for Kubernetes, in a sense, anyway. Uh, so if I kind of wanted to know more information on what a pod is, or how I would create a pod, or what to do with a pod, uh, I could use this explain command. And very simply, by just throwing it the Q control explain pod. It'll tell me what a what kind pod actually uh refers to, what version a pod the pod was uh released in, and that was uh released in Kubernetes API version one, and then it will describe what a pod actually is, and a pod is just a collection of containers that run on our host. And then further down here we'll see something called fields and this field section will be important later on when we start writing yaml files for kubernetes resources but uh for right now all you need to know is that whenever we do start writing yaml files these fields are going to always be required so another thing i'd like to introduce you guys to is this so if you play around with the cube control CLI a little bit. And let's say, let's go back to that git command I ran earlier. If I run a, let's say cube control and I pass it my help flag, it'll actually produce me with a lot of information, which is another useful thing about uh, Kubernetes or yeah, pretty kind of the cube control CLI in general. Um, it, what I kind of like about it is that it provides you a lot of documentation uh you can get a lot of the documentation off the website but the cli does also provide you a lot and once you start to get the hang of it you could kind of pretty much get the sense and feel of all your kubernetes resources just by running a help command through the uh, cli so let's say i wanted to i don't know 
uh i wanted to see what the get command does but you know i'm not quite sure uh what i could do to you know test it out uh so if i go down here to this example section this very first section is just going to give you a description of what the command does but if i go down here to the examples section you'll see here i have a bunch of different examples and above that i have a comment above it and that's just basically going to tell me what each of these examples are going to do so one really neat thing if you ever wanted if you wanted to play around and just get the hang of kubernetes you could just copy and paste a lot of these commands and just run them yourself so i could run that and that'll just grab me all of my pods looks like i don't have any if i wanted to and the very useful thing uh it's going to be that you can do this for almost any command so let's clear that out and let's say I wanted to do a let's say I wanted to do a Q control run and I wanted to actually run and create a uh, example pod. I could do a Q control run get the help flag. Again, if I scroll up, there is another example section. And if I go here, You'll see I have a bunch of different examples. And what I could actually do, let's do the second one. Let's do a cube control run Hazelcast. Image, Hazelcast, Hazelcast. So it looks like it's pulling an image called Hazelcast from Docker Hub, and it's running a pod called Hazelcast, and then it's it's exposing it on port 7 uh, 5701 and it's all described up here as well so if i wanted to i can just copy paste and bam now i have that pod created so if i do a q control kit pods again oh, now i have a new output and it looks like that pod is now being created if i go ahead and run that again Okay, looks like it's still running. That's pretty good. Now, let's say I wanted to get some more information. I could do a cube control describe, and if I pass it the name of my pod, or, you know, whatever Kubernetes resource that I really wanted, one thing you can do is actually pass it the resource type. So let's say I wanted to pass it a pod, and then do a slash and then just pass it the name of the pod so if you do this with the describe command you can describe kind of almost any kubernetes resource that you want so in this instance i'm kind of describing some more information on my hazelcast pod Oop, looks like i forgot an l but let's go ahead and run that now and now that'll go ahead and pull me all that information on that pod that i just created Those are just some of the more useful features of the Cube Control CLI that I wanted to introduce you guys to today. But uh, just go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Uh, get more of a feel for it. Try try some of the examples. Uh, and don't be too afraid if you think you're going to mess anything up. They have those examples there for a reason. And Kubernetes is, is very easy to play around with. If you uh, ever feel like you're going to overuse your resources, you can also just take down your... Uh, mini cube or whatever whatever cluster instance you're working with okay so to recap today we talked about what kubernetes is how to use it and some of the neat out-of-the-box features that it comes with